I, I think she's cool and all, but I don't really have to say too much to her. I just need her to do what I need her to do. We ain't like the best of friends or nothing like that, but I'm just saying. But okay, hunty, did you even know that it was me, girl? Okay. Are you feeling this platinum hair? Feeling like a million dollars, okay? Hello. What's up, divas and divos? You guys already know what time it is. This is like my product review video. I love doing these video reviews because it's so much fun. And I was so shook it. Like, seriously, like, hello, girl. I was so excited when I got, like, a lot of these packages in the mail because some of them were so unexpected and... Hunties, don't y'all love when you get something in the mail? You don't even know you're getting in the mail. Like, you go to your post office box and it's like, girl, what? What? Or, you know, go in your mailbox and you get something in the mail. you like, oh, hello. So I was like super excited about that. In case you guys are wondering about the hair, this is a lace frontal that I made using just platinum blonde bundles from a company called Recool, who I've worked with in the past. Hunties, I'm loving this hair um, and the fact that I made the roots a little bit darker, not dark brown or medium brown, but light brown. So I do like it a lot. Like for real. You guys already know, I just keep it real. I'm honest about everything that I receive. And so far I'm really thinking like everything that I'm got here is definitely going to make me happy because I have worked with a few of these companies not once but twice so I like to work or rework with companies like for real I do let me just tell y'all one thing I opened this one package like only a tiny bit because I wanted to show it to you guys together. I was not expecting this. I went to my post office box and I was like, where is this from? And so when I opened it, I got in my car and when I opened it and I seen like the print, I was so freaking excited. I was like, I'm not even gonna open it anymore. So this is how, this is how much I opened it because I already knew what it was, but I wanted the full surprise, like, just the full on surprise to be with you guys, okay? So this was a gift from one of my subscribers, one of my deep buzz, okay? And listen, came in this pretty purple plastic mailing pouch. And then there's also a card, okay? I did not even notice that. All right, and so this is a thank you card. This is, okay. So this is just a letter to me. Just basically, I'm just going to just break it down to you guys. Thank you for always being you and always being real. Love, sincerely, Grace. She just recently started her own small business and wanted me to have the turbans as a gift since she noticed that I like them and I like to wear them in my videos. I love wearing turbans. Let me tell y'all, I don't really, like, I love wearing my wigs too, but if I have the opportunity to wear, like, a nice, turban wrap that I'm all for it. and seriously honestly I have been wanting to like go on Amazon for like the longest I have some in my cart that um are turban wraps and then I'm just like you know what I'll get around to it I have enough scars I'll get around to it. this has been going on for months she must have been reading my mind honeys the name of her website is Kishi Culture Afro accessories and I will post all of her information below you can follow her on Facebook and Instagram at Kishi culture and I do hope that I am pronouncing the name correctly and handmade with love okay listen I have been waiting for like a few days not to open it. Well, look at these prints aren't these oh, man when I seen these I was really tempted to open it in the car but I just said okay I already know what it is I could tell by the durability of the fabric that this was going to be a head turban I'm freaking freaking out like wow I'm like super excited these are so pretty and it's quality fabric. Like, oh my God, I have never had like an official, official head wrap turban. Like seriously, this is like some really good material. Oh man, I'm about to put this on, hunties. Oh wow, I'm like really excited right now. I don't know how to wrap like 
you know, like some girls do. But I will get the whole the hang of this. And it's so nice. See, this makes a big difference versus the head wraps that I be wearing. Because they're, you know, they're thinner material. So they're not like, like, you know, you can't really like fluff them up. Just like do a nice bow in the front. Okay. And just like pull it out. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to because some things you just got to practice. So I'm trying to do something totally different. Trying to be fancy now because I got like the real deal. So yeah, don't mind me, guys. But I'm trying to be a little bit fancier than 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 I, I normally am with my head wraps. So just give me a second. Okay, and as for these. Hello. This is nice. Okay, and I listen, this feels a whole lot more durable and stable versus the head wraps that you know that I buy like at the 99 cents only store or like the fabric store. You know what I'm saying? This feels like it's not gonna go nowhere. Let's look at the next one because I'm like I'm like really happy right now. Like for real, I'm really, really happy. This is beautiful. Look at this, you guys. Like I have never actually felt like a head wrap in person. I have always wanted to try one because, you know, being that they're so durable, they're a lot stiffer. So that allows the fabric just to be able to just stand up like this. But wearing this, you feel a lot more secure. I absolutely love the print of this. This fabric is so pretty and durable. I have been wanting these head wraps for the longest thank you so much because i have been wanting a head wrap for like god knows how long so i am really appreciative for this and definitely you guys check her website out i'll definitely post all of her information below for you guys you know that was like the infamous um beauty guru pose you know when you'll be like So anyway, Amazon had their Prime Day, you know what I'm saying, where Prime members get half off or 30% or whatever off on some items. And I love Amazon. You guys already know. I be telling y'all I love Amazon. So a girl, I did buy some stuff that I didn't really need. But being that it was on sale, like, you know, who can... Like seriously, you cannot fight a good sale. So they had the Echo, the Amazon Echo Dots um, on you know what I'm saying, sale. So you can get two of these. I think I paid $39, $39 for two of the Echo Dots. It was the black and a white one. And I'm still getting used to it because I have one downstairs and one upstairs. Um, but there are skills that you can teach Alexa, which I think are amazing because I just talked, I don't really talk to her because I'm not lonely. But um, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to talk to her. Like I, I think she's cool and all, but I don't really have to say too much to her. I just need her to do what I need her to do. We ain't like the best of friends or nothing like that, but I'm just saying. Like, Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.53 p.m. Alexa, how was your day? It's been really groovy. I've got some rhymes flowing through me. She got some rhymes flowing through her. I like it because you can get like great information from it. You know what I'm saying? If you need to know what time it is, what the weather is, wake you up in the morning, you know, whatever. There's all type of different skills you can teach her. I have been meaning to try and learn some of them, but I haven't got around to it. And it's amazing like to see how futuristic things are now. Like instead of like when I was growing up, girl, please, we didn't even have internet back then. We didn't even know what Wi-Fi was, okay? So we just go outside, play some hot scotch and double dutch, and we was good for the day. You know what I mean? But it's just really nice to be able to see things that, you know, have evolved. So I like when she could play my music on my music list. Like Amazon is like the best place in the world, like for real. 
you cannot tell me no different. Like I love Amazon. It is like my favorite place to be when I'm on like my phone or my computer. They have like everything. If you ain't been on Amazon or you're not addicted to it, then you need to get addicted to it. Okay. Just get addicted to it, hunties. Get addicted. Okay. So moving on, I was so like shocked about some of the items that I got and was not expecting. And this is one of my favorite websites in the world for inexpensive makeup that is high priced quality. Bam! Got it upside down, but you know, shop Miss A. Everything is only a dollar. I love everything on their website. And I think like the site is amazing because for one, you should not have to pay so much money for beauty care products. Like, you know what I'm saying? We as women love makeup. And like, yeah, I love all types of brands and things, but I just find it hard sometimes for me to go out and spend like uh, $20 on a lip gloss. Like I can't put my, I cannot do it. I just can't. And I have, I may have a, a few times, but I just cannot. Like it just, just hurts me and my pockets. So when I'm able to find something that is like in the same, same color scheme and the quality is just as good for like a dollar or more, and girls, I'm happy, like I'm for real. I am like tickle pink, you guys. Plus when you buy their particular AOA studio line cosmetics, a portion of the proceeds go to the Paw Paw Foundation, which is just, you know, helping animals. So I love anything that gives back. A couple of the things I did open because I just couldn't wait. So I ended up using this product the other day because I just couldn't wait. But this is their Glow Baby Illuminating Drops, okay? Hold up, shut the front door. I know you guys are like, what? Listen, first of all, you're not gonna get this for a dollar because there's five of them in here. So more or less, um, you can buy the whole kit. I think it's like, five dollars for the whole kit so it ends up being like a dollar each one they're illuminating drops you know like highlight babies all right look at this and you have plenty this is more than enough for five dollars you're getting all of these okay not just one but you're getting five well they come in these cute little bottles so you could definitely carry these with you they're easy for storage when you're going on a trip when you're going to work you know you girls we gotta look cute at all times goddess so this is goddess and hopefully you guys can see it i should turn my light down a little bit because i really want you guys to see okay so there is goddess morning glow and that's morning glow and i think that's the one that i wanted to put on my face but we'll see at the end this one right here after glow this is like a champagne color after glow that one right here super glow which is like a very kind of like pearlized pink color Super Glow. And this is actually their brand. This is the AOA Studio Heavenly Glow. I think it says Heaven or Heavenly Glow. Okay, and this is just like a white color. Oh, shoot. This is not white. This is definitely not white. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I wish you guys could see this in person because this is giving off like some hieroglyphic bluish purple type of color. Like, oh, my God. Do you guys see that? Look at that. This is like unicorn, unicorn, okay? Wow. The consistency, the quality is like honeys. If you have never purchased anything from Shop Miss A, I don't know where y'all guys been, but you'll definitely want to purchase some stuff from there, like for real. If anything, the AOA Studio brand is my favorite. So then next, here we go right here. They are lip oils, okay? I have some lip oils. So they sent me four of their lip oils, which I did try out one. I love these because we not always want to wear lip gloss or, you know, matte liquid lipstick or lipstick. I just like to wear gloss sometimes. So prior to this video, I had on their diamond lip gloss. And they do smell good. I know the Apple one does because it's the one that I opened. 
can also add them over your matte liquid lipstick. So if you don't want it to be so matte, you can definitely like, you know, apply these. And this is also another one of their particular brands, the AOA Studio. And this is Oh Honey. It's called Oh Honey because it is a oil for your lips and it does feel good it lasts for hours okay this is the one that i used which was the apple one this one is strawberry strawberry like bright pink and it does smell like strawberry and it smells really good too these are so cute okay these are like super cute for a dollar like i'm saying for a dollar make me holla honey and it's like a yellowish tint it does smell like honey it actually does smell like honey and it makes your lips feel soothing, soft. And then the last one is peach, which is kind of like a yellowish tone as well. It has a very light scent. Um, I can't say it smells like peaches. It's very light scent. It does not smell bad. It has just a very light scent. I think like my favorite one is probably like the strawberry one. No, but my lips smell good. So could you imagine if you had like a girlfriend and she, you know, she needed some lip gloss and her breath was stinking at the same time her lips just smelt. You could just like be like, girl, use one of these. Like, you just use one of these. Like, for real. Put this on your lips because they will smell good too because you need it. All right? Now, don't, I mean, like, you don't have to say that to your friend, but I'm just saying in case, you know. So then I also received some of their mascara and I was really pleased with this because for one, you guys know I like like to use like certain mascara, especially on the lower lashes because I don't like the wand to be too big because then it just gets all over the place and then I gotta clean it up. So I do like the wands to be exceptionally small. So they actually do have mascara and mascara primer for the lower lashes and it's just called the Skinny, the Under Lash Primer and the under lash mascara. So I did use this already because I wanted to see how it worked and I love the whole concept of primer for your lashes because it allows your lashes to just really stand out. The brush is like really small so it's perfect for like the lower lashes. These two products right here are absolutely amazing because I ended up not getting any type of mess with them. So I do like the mascara, okay? I do like the mascara. Like I have loads of mascara and I'm like a really funny person when it comes to mascara. I don't like just any mascara especially if the I needed to have a small brush and I need to have a really big mascara wand like when I do my top lashes I need the mascara wand to be like super huge and this is the mascara for the lower lashes or underneath lashes and this is the fat lash right here these are the fat lashes so this is the primer and the mascara and the brushes are not as big okay as I would prefer them to because they're kind of small okay so the wand on the actual mascara is bigger than the actual primer which is a plus okay so that's a good thing so this is like a general size standard size mascara wand and it has a lot of little bristles in it which is good so that way your lashes don't stick together they don't clump together i like when you have like a good mascara wand um for a dollar listen they did send me one of i call them the d palettes because that's what i've known them as but they're actually the magnetic palettes where you can put your eyeshadow your blush and your you know whatever you want to put in those magnetic palettes they have some new ones that came out you do purchase them with the eyeshadow so they come as like a set and like I said I did not open them up yet and they come with th um, nine shadows okay so we're gonna go through this one first this is the date night palette there is a mirror and this is where your actual shadows will fall at so as soon as you close it you can feel like the grip of the magnet and I can't remember how much this was of course it was not a dollar but um if it comes with nine it's probably like ten bucks I think it's like about ten bucks for this um but re realize you're getting ten things so it just it's still like a dollar a piece. You can also buy their eyeshadows separately. I mean, each come in one of these cute little boxes. Everything is just like more than what you would expect for only a dollar. And this color is called Buzz. They're also protected with the plastic over it. So, and it also has the color of the shadow on the bottom, the name. This is Buzz. Whoa, rich kind of like reddish tone copperish tone metallic shadow this is very pretty and the color is intense like seriously do you guys see that this is like really intense for a dollar i'm gonna do more than holler like this is a pretty color this is fizz this is a very pretty color reminds me of a mac eyeshadow that i have very pretty like a champagne color this is a nice one enigma 
I'm thinking like Enigma. Enigma is like a plumish color, but it's a matte color. And then it kind of looks like brown, so we're gonna see when I swatch it. It's like a plumish color. That's very pretty too. So for those of you who like the deep, dark colors, then this one is a nice one. And it's not chalky, so that's a plus. I like the colors that they chose for the date night palette. This is like one of my go-to colors with any brand. Sultry. You just can't go wrong with neutral colors, like for real. This is sultry right here. This is more or less like a very neutral color. This is like something I will wear all the time. And hopefully you guys can see this show up on me. And you guys might not be able to see it too well because of my skin complexion, but is there, you know. And this is spicy. This is gorgeous. See, this reminds me of like a color in um, my Morphe. So it's like a burnt orange, very pretty. Very, very pretty. This is Stranger. I think that the color is like a very light black. I like the way they name their own brands. You know, each item has like a name of its own. I think that's very unique. It's like the high-end brands, they name their stuff as well. I like the fact that even though they are lower ends, they have their own names and they have good quality stuff. So it's like a, like a kind of like a grayish black color. It's like a matte color. It is buildable, so you can definitely build it up if you wanted it blacker. But I like it this tone because I don't really like it too black because then it just makes me look like I'm dead. And we have Intuition. Do I have to turn the lights down for you guys? So I turned the lights down so you can see the color better. So this is Intuition. And it's like a peach, peachy color. Perfect which is like a mauve color, very pretty. I have lipstick like this and I absolutely love this color. It's very neutral to me. And then the last one is Wonderland. I think this is like the brightest one. It's pretty though. It's very pretty, look at that. That's pretty. This is Wonderland, okay? Look, and I ran out of room on my arm, so thank you, nine was just enough. So Wonderland is also really pretty. These colors are really pretty in the date night palette. And look how nicely they just sit right in the actual palette. I like the size of this because it's really easy to just travel with. But this palette is really neutral like, and it's probably like just one color that is not neutral. Which you know, sometimes you gotta spice it up. Really pretty, magnetic, super affordable. So for those of you guys who are makeup junkies and want some new makeup, you'll definitely have to check out Shop Miss A. So we have one more palette that they sent me, Boxy Palette. So this one is just a little bit different in color. And this one is rich, and if I didn't show you guys the back, they all have numbers on them, and they also do have the name, okay? So like I said, and this is like a cocoa brown, and it's a matte color as well. Kind of has like a reddish tone in it, red undertones in it, but it's like a more or less like a bark color. Brown, very pretty though, cocoa brown. This is like a very nice one. This is a great eyeshadow color for just like, you know, in the crease or blending. Then we have Adore, which is also a matte color. Kind of reminds me of Spicy a little bit. It's like a, like, it's um like a, a a lighter shade of burnt orange. So if it's appearing like it's a peach color on camera, it's definitely not. It's more or less like a like a lighter shade of burnt orange. Oh, my lights died. Oh, my batteries died in my lights. Okay. All right, so we're back in business. I had to fix my lights. It's funny when they both died at the same time. I guess because I put the batteries in at the same time. So I just put in some new batteries. This one is called Sensation, and it's like a grayish purple to me, it looks like. And it has like a light frost on it. Very pretty. This would be like a great color for your bottom lid. This is Midnight. It looks kind of like bluish, purplish, black. Oh, it's very black. This is very black. That is very black. So you guys see the difference from this one versus... The other one, this is very black, plus it has like a frost to it too, which is pretty, but this is very black. And crown, this is, you know what's so good about their shadows? They're very pigmented. I know for me, like I have bought like shadows from the Dollar Tree, like LA Color. They're not pigmented at all. They're very hard to blend and you have to constantly, constantly keep building them up. So I'm not like a huge fan of like, LA color eyeshadow from the Dollar Tree because it's just not there. But for a dollar with these, you're definitely getting like more than your money's worth. We have Allure, which is like a kind of 
a cocoa brown too, but with a, you know, sh shimmer to it. That's pretty. That's a very pretty color. Starlet, which is just like, you know, an ivory color and it also has a frost to it. This will make a good highlight, like, hello. Look at that. That will make like a gorgeous highlight, seriously. That would make like a really nice highlight. Terracotta. Now this looks like spicy to me. So this kind of resembles spicy a lot. I'm gonna do a swatch of spicy right next to it. So here goes spicy right here and terracotta. So they're a little bit off by just a little bit. Not so noticeable, but they're very similar in color. And then the last one, exotic. And it's this very bright, kind of like yellowish, neonish, limeish color green. Very bright and intense. Okay, it is a matte color. Do you guys see that? It's pretty though. It is very pretty. And this is something that would be great blended in with like a brownish color. Okay, look at that. Hello, this is a pretty color though. This is the Foxy. This is the Date Night. So both of them are actually really pretty. There is, I think, like either one or two more of the palettes in the collection. You're getting like good quality stuff. You're getting nine shadows and a palette, a Z palette, a magnetic palette. I'm gonna stop calling it a Z palette. So they do come in different sizes. So you can also build your own and put and make what you want into them if you don't wanna buy the ones that are already made. I love everything that Shop Miss A sends me. You know, I might find some things that I'm not like, like a huge fan of, but for the most part, if I'm buying like 10 things, there may just be one or there may be none. But other than that, they have like great quality makeup and I would highly suggest you guys check them out. If you live in Texas, then they are located. They do have a store in the mall that you can visit. You know, you can walk on up in there and take your pick. And I like the way it's set up because it has like nice little sections. Everything is just neatly organized in the store. And I am just like, listen, I have to get there. I definitely have to get to the Shop Miss A store in the mall because I would probably just go ham in there, like for real. You can only imagine, you don't have to wait for it to come in the mail. Even though I do like to shop online, that's just the next best thing, but just to be able to see the products in person and be able to just say hello to like the staff is amazing. Plus you also like to see like the atmosphere and you're able to see like the other consumers. It's just great. Like. A lot of people go crazy over dollar items, like for real, like you cannot pass up anything good for a dollar. That's why I love going to the Dollar Tree. So yes, you guys, I hope you liked the shadow palettes. So and you guys know how much I love Octoly. Like, hello, I love Octoly to death. Octoly is a website where you can get great free products and in exchange, all that they ask you to do is do an honest review or a post on your social media. So they are gifted products. You have a storefront. Well, these are the items that you're going to see in your store that you can choose from. You're starting off with with about five coins I do believe which is basically up to five points each product is worth one point or one coin and in exchange you're gifted the product to do an honest review so when you first start off you'll see like the lower end items like Rimmel, CoverGirl, Wet n Wild, you know Avon if you're consistent and you're consistently you know, applying for products and you're posting your reviews, your store will flourish and you'll see more items like MAC, Urban Decay, Laura Mercier, Becca Cosmetics, Givenchy, YSL. You'll start seeing more higher end products, okay? And I find like a lot of nice things on it that I can use. So you guys know, I just said I love mascara. This one here is by Givenchy. I did use this, okay? Not today, but I did use it. I love the freaking mascara wand. Okay, you guys, look. It's perfect, it's like a ball shape. So this is perfect for my lower lashes. For my lowers, this gives me no problem at all. Like, seriously. Okay, so I like the ease of this. Like you could just like, you know what I'm saying? Put it on and just go about your business. Like, so yes, this one, I do like this. And like I said, I was gifted this by Givenchy and Octoly. And in return, I just 
I'm doing what I'm doing now. An honest review. This is like a really nice mascara. Hello, did you guys see that? This makes putting on your lower lids or your lower lashes a whole lot easier. And like, I like my lower lashes to look very voluminous. This one is the Phenomena Eyes one. Color is deep black. I love the packaging, it has some weight to it. It's not, you know, like really flimsy looking, not at all. So the next product that I was gifted as well from Octoly and also YSL is Saint Laurent YSL is the Touch a Clay Neutralizer Color Corrector. It's like a corrector pen. So first of all, the color is like this rose gold color. It has like a brush type applicator. And all you wanna do is push the bottom. And the color that I have is apricot. Now, I would definitely use this for my highlight because I already used it anyway, so you know. For me, it will work out great because it is, you know, in the peachy color tone family. But this is a really great color corrector. It does last, it did increase. And also, um, for one, they do have like the um, green and they I think they do have the lavender as well. Girl, they do have some really nice cosmetics. So if you are in the need, um, you're interested, you can definitely check out the Saint Laurent YSL brand makeup cosmetics. They do have some really nice stuff. Actually has some amazing items. So. Thank you, I was gifted this as well. So then the next item is on my list, and it's not an Oxley product, but I do have like a couple of more, is a company that I'm an influencer for, and this is Juno and Company, or Juno and Co, Juno Company. Their stuff is really affordable. As you guys can see, beauty products starting at a dollar. You will see some things that are starting at one dollar. So, you know, hello gorgeous. You do get like a nice little box that says hello and everything is wrapped in like nice black tissue paper and I actually took this palette with me just recently to New York to use it because I just didn't want to pack too much stuff and also I was gifted some brushes as well I'm going to show you the palette first which is called the peach dream and it's really like a nice palette it's neutral you guys know I'm all into the neutrals they have like some really affordable makeup on it not everything is a dollar you'll find like some lashes but with your lashes you I think each one is limited to like you can only buy I think like two or three for the strip lashes which I'm not like a huge fan of that whole concept so I've never gotten any or purchased any lashes from there they're all matte colors and this color right here semi frito medium brown color very pretty looks a little bit similar to like the shop miss a one this one here which is streusel and it's like a peach palette peach color and then we have pie, which is, these colors are very similar to the Shop Miss A ones. And you're not probably gonna be able to see this one right here on me because it's almost like my skin complexion, but it is this color right here, which is pretty. It's a very neutral color, I like it. So it's cobbler, which is more or less like an off-white egg chillish color. Then we have sorbet, which is kind of like to me like in a rush, like a red toned brown. I'm not gonna swatch all of them because they're kind of similar to the other colors. Um, then we have tart, but it's a peach pinky color. It reminds me of, oh my God, don't you hate when you like forget something and you like, what is it reminds me of? I cannot remember for the life of me now. Too Faced, the peach palette. It reminds me of a color from that. Melba, which is like a lighter toned, now you probably won't be able to see this on me as well because it's very light. But then there's Angel, which is like a cream color. So like I was saying, there's Angel, which is like a cream color. Then we have Crisp, which is like a very dark brown, like a dark chocolate, very dark chocolate light. And Trifle, Trifle, okay. And this is like a maroonish color. This is very pretty. Crumble. I love like these neutral colors. These are like, girl, these are my type of thing. Hope you guys can see that. And then the last one is Shortcake. 
So I do like this palette a lot because it's very neutral, very pretty colors. You get uh, 12 shadows in this palette. Now we're going to go into their brushes. Now they got some really good brushes. I do use their brushes a lot too. They have some good brushes that are a dollar and then some of them are more than a dollar. Um, which one do I favor more, Shop Miss A or Juno? I like them both. They both have good brushes, you know what I'm saying? I did get six brushes. I use their brushes actually like every day because they have sent me brushes in the past so I did use their brushes I do use their brushes a lot um, I have like my one for my makeup my face that I use every single day and I do need to wash it so this is the ES 10 and this is just a flat buffer brush if you can see the design of the brush it's really worth more than the price I think this is probably like two bucks on the website these are really good quality brushes they're not lightweight so if you're definitely starting off with makeup I think these are like great to add to your makeup collection the bristles are soft okay and they are easy to clean but they also do have the numbers on the back of them. this is their kabuki brush which is I, I like to say the word kabuki 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 like kabuki brush um and this is the es 11 um it's very soft and i actually do favor the ones that have the longer handles a lot more because it's just easier to hold they do have another brush that's very similar to the kabuki brush you don't have to spend a lot of money to get like really great brushes this is their shadow brush and you know what i think i actually do have this one already this is the es 06 the ES06 okay and this is more or less like the larger one so you can get a little bit better application you know you don't got to be there all day with the eyeshadow brush okay so we're just going to use I'm just going to use something neutral so they do pick up products really well as you guys can see right there They do pick up product really well, their brushes. Me personally, when I find a site that has like really good stuff and it's super cheap and I know the quality is good, I will go ham on that website. I definitely will suggest, you know, checking them out because they do have like a lot of nice things. This color is really pretty and this is Strusel. You don't really need much with this color right here. And even though I don't have primer on, it still looks good. Now, like I said, we're not doing a makeup tutorial. So please don't judge my look for today, my makeup, because like seriously, this is not about, you know, a makeup tutorial. So this one was the ES06. And then I'm gonna just take this one right here, which is the ES07, which is a blending brush. And I'm just going to kind of like blend it in so it doesn't look like it's just sitting on my lids. And I'll probably just take like this neutral color right here, which is pie, and kind of like, you know, soften it in. This is soft. It's a really nice brush. I love like a good blending brush. I had a MAC one forever and the darn thing, I guess I used it so much it started getting really abrasive to my eyelids and it was so scratchy, but I still was using it. I don't use it anymore because I've gotten so many nice ones that are less in price, but better in quality. So this is the ES07. It's the ES08. Okay, so this one here is not as um, fluffy, it's more tapered, I think, or whatever you want to call it. It's a lot more dense. It's more dense, actually. And this is the AS08. Um, this will do great if you wanted to do like a smoky eye underneath. This is a great brush for that. Um, I don't really use these too much. I do have quite a few of them, and I very rarely pick them up. So, you know, this is not like something that I would use all the time. An eyeliner kind of like brush, okay? So this is the... ES09 and this is an angled eyeliner brush now for me for one I'm very particular about my eyeliner brush when I do cream eyeliners because if it's too thick a girl is not using it so it's kind of hard sometimes to find like the best angled eyeliner brush because if you want to do like your brows with it you have to get like the right one maybe to some this would be perfect but you know when you get used to something and you get used to it but I would definitely use this to smoke out the bottom of my eyelids I would definitely use that for that and probably like some other things too, like to do like a more in-depth crease with this but it is a great brush as From, well um Juno and Co do have like 
nice items on their website. And the brushes were actually, here goes the prices, were actually $2 each. Um, the Kabuki and the Keeping It Real Kabuki brush, which was the very first one that I showed you guys with the longer handle, those were $2 each. And then the eye set, which was just the eyeshadows, the four of them, that was $6. And then the palette was actually Ten dollars. Happy that I ain't had to throw nothing over my shoulder, and like the last two videos are like really crush somebody's dreams, like for real, because you know your girl will go in. So I'm happy about that. Um, it's the third time for me working with them on Octoly, and I absolutely love this contact lens company. If I had to choose any contact lenses, I would only choose them. I have like three sets no yeah this is my third set with them um and i actually was wearing a pair yesterday and then i did have it on a pair today um if you guys seen my last video i did have on the pair that they sent me that come with six so they're like for daily usage that you could throw them out she still kept wearing the same ones that i did in the video review first time for me it didn't bother me they still were seeable they didn't get cloudy you know what i'm saying she wore them five times so far um i'll probably end up throwing out the one pair i still do have five pairs left this is one of my favorite contact lens companies, which is Diceo. And for one, they are Italy based, so they are international international contact lens website. You do get your products sent to you via FedEx, so keep that in mind, you don't have to sit around waiting forever. They have like so many nice contacts. You will get one of these lovely books, which I think are cute because they're silver. Like I've used one in a video and I just propped it right here and it gave me like the perfect reflection. Like y'all don't even know, but I'm telling y'all. Or you can take it outside and you can just go sunbathing with it. But anyway, it tells you about what they have to offer. Um, I think this is what I got the last time, but they tell you about the different colors and they do have some really really nice contact lenses like for real they got some bomb contact lenses they don't make you look like your eyes are like anime like animated like i have gotten a couple pair where my eyes look like lizard eyes and just like freakish unreal i mean like listen first of all i like contact color contacts but some of them are i can as soon as i put them on they look cloudy and they make my eyes feel heavy and i'm not able to see clear with them but with the CEOs, I can see clear. They don't make my eyes feel heavy and tired. So I really do like this brand a lot. I do get another booklet right here, which is their color contact lenses. And this is a just a guide. It just shows you what you would look like with the colors. When you do get one of these lens cases, you're not going to get the actual solution. You can always go to Walmart or any type of drugstore and pick that up. They're really inexpensive now. The color is called Jungle Fever, okay? And it's in this pretty rose gold box, and this is their new one. So it's called Jungle Fever. I, every time I listen to that, I read the, the old song, Jungle Fever, you remember that song from the movie? Really neat, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about, packaging, okay? Oh, these are really green. Okay, so these are really green. It also has like care instructions, how to put them on. If you don't know how to put on contact lenses, I definitely would suggest you guys looking at a video. Each one comes in this right here, so it already has solution in it. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these on. Oh, I got some baby wipes right here on hand. I'm just going to wipe my hand off real quick because I did do like, you know, some swatches. I'm just going to take them and pour it right in here. So you get enough solution to last you for like, you know, a couple of days. These are very green. And see what I'm saying? When I put these on, they're very easy to put on. I'm not blinking, I'm not like crying. Okay, you guys, so here they go. Now, don't these look pretty? These are like very green, not too green. This is the color green I had wanted like before. With the CEO, I am not getting like a lizard eye look. Now, you're probably not gonna be born with green eyes like this, but I don't care. I like the way it looks. They look natural. You don't see like that black animated bands around it, you know what I'm saying? Your eyes don't look weird and freakish. With theirs, they look really natural. So, you know, let me just take a selfie. do like the beauty guru pose. Dang. 
it wouldn't be a picture without that. I love them. Like this is the third pair and I absolutely love them. Now, these are comfortable. I don't feel them. They're easy. Um, just like with the other ones that I wore that have like the six in a pair, like the daily ones that you can toss away. I forgot that I actually had those on and I hadn't really remembered this little probably like 11 30 at night and I have probably I have probably had them on for about 12 hours um because they're so comfortable you don't even realize you have them on versus like a lot of other pair for me they are just like I can feel them um and I can also if I don't feel them later on in the day I can definitely feel them but with the CEOs I don't feel them they don't bother me and they just look really really natural and I was also gifted these contact lenses in return for an honest review from Oxley and so I absolutely love them okay like for real you will see me in my blonde video and I have on a pair of their contact lenses but my brows were too dark so don't judge me um, the last item okay it's also another gifted item from octoly.com where you can get amazing products like girls don't sleep on octoly because you can get some bomb stuff the last product review video i featured a brand called velvet 59 and they sent me these barbie doll lashes i love those lashes so much that i went out and i bought three more pair from their actual website now they do run 15 dollars a pair but let me tell you they're vegan special so there are no animals there's no animal cruelty plus they last a long time so I did buy two two more pair of the Barbies and I also bought a pair of the bells I wore those Barbies to death and then I bought me a pair and then I bought my daughter Tati a pair I sleep in mines because I use the individual glue so I put them I apply them on with my individual lashes as you guys seen in the video and they held up so nicely these are my very first pair that was sent to me and they're still good like they still in good condition um i just used another pair you know i wanted to save them like for hard times but you know i i love my lashes now these this is not part of the review but i wanted to show you guys this because they did send me something else and i will definitely show you guys this but you cannot pass these up these are their bell lashes these are the ones that i bought these lashes are bomb as heck okay Plus, there's no animal cruelty. They look just like they were be mink or animal fur or whatever you want to call them. But they're vegan lashes. Not only do they just sell lashes. If you like eyeshadow palettes, then you definitely will have to go on their website and check their eyeshadows. Because they have some very nice eyeshadows as well. So Velvet 59 by Paris Manning is their Biker Babes eyeshadow palette. Bam. Now, when I seen this actually on the website when I was purchasing some lashes, I was so tempted to buy it. But then I was like, girl, you don't need no more. Stop it. You don't need no more. Just get the lashes and go. But when I seen this product being offered on Oxley, I just jumped to it because they have like some really nice lashes. Like, so if they got some nice lashes, then they definitely have some nice eyeshadow. And then you can get some lashes and you can also get matte liquid lipstick. Look at this. Like, I know you guys like, girl, it's just eyeshadow. It's so really the way that they like showcase their eyeshadows and their cosmetics online will make you want to buy them and they're really not that expensive their colors are listed on the back and I'm going to just swatch them because I absolutely was so excited about this palette when I got it a more and it's so pretty like that's gorgeous like this is absolutely gorgeous like for real then we have right here twisty and look at that color very pretty very rich okay and this one here is cafe racer nice and then right here we have throttle very pinkish now i'm not really sure if this would be my color but i might can pull it off i said i might i didn't say i could i said i might could my, my shadow skills are not that great, okay? They are more or less neutral color, girl. If you give me some neutral, I will blend the heck out of it. Torque, not twerk, torque. Look at that. Pretty and rich. Aren't these like pretty and rich? Like, hello. Rocket fuel. This you can use for a highlighter because I, when I got this in the mail, I was like, oh shoot, that's really rich in color. Frisco style. This one is nice. That is pretty. 
Everything seems just like so very pigmented and rich and just smooth. It's Harley Baby. So like my favorite go-to colors. I like the color payoff on this one a lot because it's not so orange. It's more like in between, which gives me like more confidence that yes, girl, wear this, wear this. Chopper. And this is also a pretty color that you could wear for a highlight. The whole palette is gorgeous. I like their products. I, I have not yet to try their liquid lipstick, but it's matte and I see like a nice a lot of pictures on their Instagram that just showcase their liquid lipsticks which look like they're really great quality but I will tell you this from their lashes and their eyeshadows they do have some really good quality products I would definitely recommend their lashes if you don't want any eyeshadow you don't need any eyeshadow I would definitely say girl get you some of those lashes leave that you get nine colors you get a nice size mirror I do like the feel of them they feel really good and soft and they're just easy to apply especially for doing swatches like you know once you could if you could put your fingers in them and you can feel the difference like I can feel the difference in each one of the shadows that I received um, my favorites would definitely be the shop miss a and the biker babes by velvet 59 because the quality is really nice they have like this very textured feel to them where you know that they're gonna go on plus you can see the difference in the color payoff versus like the peach palette so I would highly recommend this one right here because like the color payoff is amazing on this one I said I was gifted that as well. You can check out Oxley where you can just get great products in, as gifts and in return, all you have to do is do a product review. I hope it wasn't too long, but I do like to get in depth and talk with you guys, but you know, it's all for fun. I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. All of the information for each website will be posted for you guys down below. Make sure you wait, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Kabuki, 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 like Kabuki brush.